Submarines. Silent. Stealthy. Deadly. These are just a few words that can describe the great underwater hunters of our time. But submarines are not invincible. And as submarines become more advanced, so do the tools the Navy uses to combat them. The Guided Missile Destroyer, or DDG, has those tools and brings a unique flexibility to the Navy's anti-submarine warfighting capability. The DDG is a pretty good platform for the reason that it has all the newest technology, all the different sonar systems on board with the thing where the SQQ-89 system, with the, it just has a, a wide variety of systems. And we, we do ASW quite a bit because it has so many, it's, it is such a good ASW platform. A DDG's main ASW tools are its integrated ASW suite, which is one of the most advanced in the world, its hull mounted sonar, and a tactical towed array sonar, which is towed about a mile behind the ship to reduce noise interference. But if we're in an area and we have the TACTAS out, tactical towed array sonar, and we pick up a contact, then we're going to begin to track them. We're going to localize where the submarine is, and to do that, we're going to do target motion analysis. The more information we get, the closer we have of concrete evidence that this is a sub. Once a sub's speed and bearings are known, the DDG can fire an ASROC, which is a three-stage solid fuel rocket with a torpedo or depth bomb payload. When you're going to drop a weapon on a submarine, you try to get your longest range weapon. If you can strap one to a helicopter and use your helicopter to do all your, your localization and attack on a submarine, that's your number one preference. But for ships without organic helicopters, that's, that's our longest range weapon. The DDG also has the capability to support one of the most effective tools in an ASW operation, the SH-60 helicopter. With the helicopters, it's how we process our sonar buoys, and it can keep the contact submarines like stuff like that away from the ship. It's used for uh, like redetection basically. They'll go out and drop sonar buoys on something where we think there might be a submarine. It's called a datum, anything like that. But it keeps it away from the ship. And if they were to pick one up and it was hostile, they also can be equipped with the Mark 46 torpedoes and they're able to drop those from the helicopter. Although these ASW tools are not unique to the DDG, its capability to support ASW as well as anti-air and anti-surface warfare, make it a valuable addition to any naval operation. The DDG's main strength is we can do pretty much any mission, any mission that they ask for. We can do ASW, we can do air, and we can do surface. We also have strike warfare, which we can do as well. Whereas a cruiser is more concentrated towards air defense, we can also take that role. And whereas a frigate is more concentrated towards ASW, we can do that role also. By having a DDG a part of most battle groups, the Navy always has a flexible ASW platform, able to take the fight to more than just submarines. From Fleet Public Affairs Center Atlantic, I'm Petty Officer Brandon Shelander.